So we're in Zechariah chapter 11 today, 15 to 17. And the Lord said to me, Next, take for yourself the implements of a foolish shepherd, for indeed I will raise up a shepherd in the land who will not care for those who are cut off, nor seek the young, nor heal those that are broken, nor feed those that still stand, but he will eat the flesh of the fat and tear their hooves in pieces. Woe to the worthless shepherd who leaves the flock. A sword shall be against his arm and against his right eye. His arm shall completely wither, and his right eye shall be totally blinded. So we're here in Zechariah again. We're still at this issue of true versus false shepherds. And we know that Jesus is the true shepherd, and in fact, we're working our way towards him. He's not very far away as we're continuing through these chapters in Zechariah. But we have this issue of true and false shepherds. That is, God is raising up people who will actually mistreat the people, and, uh, you know, and people make bad choices. And many times we make a choice. We make a choice based on what's in it for me. You know, what, how is this going to help me? And so in the short term, we'll make a choice that, well, we think this guy's the right leader, or we think that person's the right leader. Always be careful about the leaders if you have an opportunity to help choose leaders. Be careful that the leaders you pick are going to be responsible, accountable type leaders. Not leaders who are going to, you know, scratch your back so you can scratch their back because they'll expect you to scratch their back. We want to be, have leaders who will help us to be godly men and women. Not leaders who are going to let us slide here and let us slide there and, and then expect uh, that we'll do something kind of crooked also that they would like to see. So we want to be right. We want leaders that will help us be right. Always pick leaders that will help you be right. Principle over power, principle over popularity, principle over, a principle, if you will, over power. That's the way to go. So keep in mind, this is a basic thing, the way people often work. Here in the Bible, we have a case, you might remember it, up in the Gospels. The people were, had to choose between having Barabbas released to them, who was a known murderer, and, uh, and Jesus. And so the people, what did they choose? Well, they chose the murderer. Instead of choosing Jesus, the Prince of Life, you figure it out. But try this. People are making choices, and God allows them to make their choice because this is the best way to educate people. When you make a choice, there's usually some pieces that are built into that choice. And so if you choose Barabbas, these are kind of the things you could expect to happen. If you choose Jesus, these are kind of the things you could expect to follow. And so people are, are really in a case of, of education. They're learning they're learning by, by doing ridiculous stuff. Now, we don't have to do the ridiculous thing to learn, but many times we seem to do it that way. And so God, is, God isn't neutral. God isn't just indifferent. God is, is educating people. And right now, he's working morally to educate you and I, you and I, so that we will always choose the leaders that will bring out the best, the best in us morally. So we're in this issue of the true and the false shepherds and there's a lot of people out there, uh, you know, volunteering to be your false shepherd. Verse 17 doesn't leave the false shepherds alone. When you have your eye totally blinded, when you have your right arm, the arm of favor, when it's totally withered, uh, not just partially, but totally withered, uh, that's a picture, that's an interesting picture that, that is being portrayed there. God is against the false shepherds. He's against the false leaders every day, all day long. And unfortunately, the people go a long time before they figure out who the false leaders are sometimes. But God is on our side, and ultimately, the false leaders, will will see them for what they are. We just hope there's not too much ridiculous damage on the way. All of us can be true under-shepherds. All of us can be encouragements to people suffering and preyed upon along the way. Uh, we can. God will be with us. So let's be workers against the bad current. Yes, we'll be attacked sometimes, we'll be attacked even by leaders, maybe even leaders we respected, leaders we looked up to, and people we thought were one way, but it turned out they were the other way. But that's okay. You know, if you're on God's side, you, you, it's, you, it's built in. Just plan you're going to be attacked. Plan that uh, there will be harder days. That's okay. God will be on our side as we do good to his own and to others who, who he wants to be his own. Let's not team with the false shepherds, but with the true shepherd. Thank you.